going to switch to English because our next speaker will actually give a talk in English as if she were already on the TED stage. Um, please welcome to the stage Monica Lemus Milroy. I live in a city with 180 different cultural backgrounds. How beautiful is that? This city is Rotterdam. Just at my home, we have three. One Guatemalan, one South African, and according to our friends in Utrecht, my two boys are real Rotterdammers. <laughs> so we nailed that. Did you know that 50% of the population in Rotterdam comes from a dif different ethnic group that is non-Dutch. These groups need support. And Stichting Nuestra Casa is trying to help some about 29 different countries, people that come from different countries. We help with the elderly and their challenges at their age. We are helping prisons to address people from Latin and Spanish background. We support women that come from a different background, sometimes just getting back on their feet. Sometimes they come from, a, from an abuse family. And we also help institutions. We don't take the place for institutions. We help them to help these people. I myself come from a different country. I come from Guatemala. I speak Spanish. And 10 years ago, I remember my husband worked uh, long hours, and I didn't. I I try my best to start to integrate and participate in the country, and it was really difficult. So every night he will come and he will Google international community, woman community, Spanish-speaking community. Sometimes it's not the partner that helped, but it's the mother-in-law, it's the neighbor, it's the mother at school. But some people, they do not have that, that, that help. And there's a, a group of volunteers in Rotterdam Spanish, Latin, Dutch, that help these people. And this is not new. This started with the Spanish mission in 1979, and then with the Church of Sagrada Familia. And these people are still active. So we are talking with people with 79 years old, that they are volunteers helping us to integrate in the Netherlands. But they couldn't take it anymore. It was too much. So four years ago, they asked for help. And we create Nuestra Casa. Nuestra Casa give a meeting place, they give a structure, and they help these people to stand with the people that is in help. We have 50 volunteers. I love them, and I admire them. Sometimes I don't know if I will be able to do their job. It's Carmencita from Spain. She, last year she was 86 years old, and she went to prison to visit prisoners and to give comfort. She drove until 80 years old, and after she decided to ask us, may I take a taxi? The 69-year-old Dutchman, he is the grandpa of, every, of many families, many Latin families, many Spanish families. He takes care, he helps the mother, he helps the father, he helps the kid. The group of women, the supporting group, my gosh. Some of these volunteers now are, strugg are struggling, trying to, help to, to find a job. But they do not rest until a woman is safe with their children. They do not rest until they talk to the partner, to the police, to the jeje day, to every single institution for these people to be safe. They organize a Zumba gold for people that are 80 years old just to keep moving. For every idea that we have, there's a family. For us, this is our family. But for this, we need several things. We need more volunteers. We need funds to do our activities and run the organization. We also need sponsors and better networking. Thanks to organizations like Nuestra Casa in Rotterdam, the cost of care is less. Why? 
because we do not deny the problems of these migrant people. We do not deny them. We take them and we, we, we help them before it gets get worse. And that's why we need to exist. By the way, nuestra casa, that means our home. And you know what? It really, really feels like home. Thank you. Gracias.